Hey guys, in this video, we're going to start from where we stopped and we're going to talk about routing. So we may look at our first function that returned hello world. Uh, we decorated it with the app.route decorator. And what this does is to create the different URLs on our website. For example, if we have our website having a domain of www.ourapp.com slash would be the root route. So when you go to our app.com, we would be able to see hello world. But if you wanted to go to our app.com slash login, so the route would be www.ourapp.com slash login. So we create routes by using the app.route decorator. So let's try to create other routes. In this case, I'm going to create a route that goes to the about page. So I'm going to say at app.route. So I'm going to go to slash about and I'm going to go and say about page. This is going to be the view function. And once I do that, I'm going to return a string that says about page. I'm also going to create another route that goes to the login page. And we call this def login page. And this is going to return login page let me put it in quotes so it's going to return login page and when i save realize that we have to stop our server and restart it again so that we'll be able to see the changes that have happened within the code so when i run with python app.py going to my browser i go the home page is localhost 5000 however if i go to the about out i'll see about page and if i go to login i'll see the login page now a lot of things can be done using routing you can also pass parameters through routes for example i may want to create a route that greets a certain user on our site so i may say app dot dot route and i say slash Great. Now I want to specify the user in the URL by using such a syntax. We use this greater than, less than brackets to create a parameter that you can be able to pass in the URL and use with a view function. Now I may say def great and this always takes in the parameter as got from the URL so I'll say user and then I will return an f string that simply says hello to the user. So if I save, these changes are not going to be manifested on the server. So if I I'll have to start the server. However, this is tedious. Now let me introduce to you a concept called debug mode. I'll go to app.run and then specify that. Debug equals to true. When I save, I'll come and run the application again with Python app dot pi. Now, some of you are going to ask the question, why do you have to put debug mode on? Now, debug mode helps us when we are developing. It helps us to restart the server every time we save so that you may be able to see the changes that happen within our code at the client side. It also helps us to display errors to debug our application. That's why it's called debug mode. So when I go to the, to the browser and then say localhost 5000 slash create slash, I pass in a name, let me say Jonathan. It's going to say hello Jonathan. Now another interesting thing we can do is to specify the data types we may want to pass through our route. So we can say that app dot route and we can say slash 
rate slash you can pass in a user who is an integer so who is an string so we can say string user and we can pass in an age of a certain user by saying age int age so when we do this we can write our function as reach user and then we can pass in a user and an age so we can return an f string that says this is then we pass in the user and then we say and you are then we pass in the edge so we shall say edge so when we save you're going to notice that our server is going to restart and this helps us to see the changes at the client side now when i go to the browser i'll be able to see these changes so if i say slash jonathan slash 13 or 12 so we'll see that this is Jonathan and you are 12. This is really amazing. So in this tutorial, we have learned how to create different routes to navigate to different parts of our application. We've learned about the app.route decorator. It helps us to map these URLs to the various view functions that return various responses. If you feel you've enjoyed this video, please feel, please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel so as to enable us to create more content, help us to also keep watching our vids. Thank you for watching.